Now I'm sure that those amongst you would have realised by now the VU meters on this ATR uh, are nice and bright and white. And the reason is that when you uh, have a, one of the lamps fail in the VU meters, unfortunately the lamps are no longer available. Um, I, I tried getting some replacements from Element 14 and Radio Spares, uh, they're the correct size, but of course the wrong resistance. And of course what happens is the Ampex uses a mixing scheme of two red and one white uh, to produce the back illumination for the VU meters. Um, and I did a lot of experimentation trying to dye the lamps red. Uh, I wasted days and days and days and days on it. Uh, in the end it was a non-result. So I ended up making these uh, rather nice little PC boards which go on the, uh, the back of the VU meters and uh, they actually have two red LEDs of, of the right type of uh, you know, colour and size and one white. Uh, the resistor values are set to give the right mixing characteristics which is what Ampex did with these in the first place. Uh, so there's a lot of messing around getting right resistor values and everything, everything else for those, uh, those VU meter back illumination. The, uh, uh, there are a few other things you certainly need to be aware of um, when you're working on these things uh, and that is you really need to do a bit of work. I'm just going to turn off the power on this at the moment. <coughs> so as you can see the, the card frame, the standard four trackers, of course two lots of two, two channel card frames. Uh, we basically have the replay channel, record channel and the, uh, the erase. So the erase has got a combined actual record amp which combines the uh, the erase signal and the record signal from the record board to go out to the um, record head. <coughs> There's plenty of um, erase current and voltage available for just about every bit of tape you can possibly think up and put through these machines. They did a good job on that. The um, basic problems I found were you need to recap every single board uh, and in one of the cases I did have a problem with channel one where on the uh, replay channel the line driver output one of the transistors uh, had gone short circuit and was causing all kinds of grief um, and that took some fault finding. Eventually I used some TIP transistors in there uh, as the suitable replacements. Um, when you're doing these pull out each of the individual cards uh, clean them with a, a rubber on the gold fingers and then a bit of contact cleaner on the bottom of the sockets uh, into which they sit. Uh, I also had a uh, couple of other weird problems. Uh, one of them over here on channel 2 which required me to replace the uh, the three ICs here. So one was a CD4001, 4011 and a 4069 inverter. Ended up replacing all three of those on this board here. Um, I did originally put them in sockets and that caused me a bit of grief so I ended up taking the sockets out, soldering them back into, directly into the board when you're pulling these out, the what method I use is to actually cut off every single pin pull off the plastic and then you pull out the, the pins one by one and then with a vacuum solder sucker you can actually suck out each of the individual um, bits of solder in each of the holes uh, if you're not careful you will probably um, at some stage take out a VIA uh, some bright spark had already worked on this machine before and I found about four vias uh, but they are actually in the analog cards where there's nothing connecting the top and the bottom of the board so the via was totally missing when they pulled it out with a chain some transistors some FETs actually so uh, that's words of wisdom I had an instability problem as well on channel 1 which is motivating it it was fine in sync and input as soon as you went to the replay position for monitoring what had happened is the channel had motorboat and uh, after, once again, days of work, I finally found out uh, that basically they've got a minus 18 and a plus 18 volt regulator they use down in the transport electronics. That feeds up to the uh, audio electronics. And on the motherboard, there are, if I can get a good shot of it here, sitting down in there are four voltage regulators. So there's a plus 15 volt regulator, which is that one there at the top, probably can't see it. And the minus 15 underneath it on both sides. And it turned out being a faulty regulator, probably caused by the 
fault in the replay channel over here with a shorter transistor. Eventually took out the 7815 regulator. So when you replace the 7815 regulator, you'll notice sitting behind that, if I can get a good shot, is a little blue by -car, by bypass cap that I replaced. So whenever you change the regulators, change the bypass cap as well.